So I'm gonna do a quick video to show you how to change the like the float charging and bulk charging value on this MPP Solar LV6048. So this is the end of the day. It's already switched back to the bypass mode. I'm using deep cycle batteries, so I'm switching it kind of early. So the batteries still have about 50 volts in them. So they're above, just slightly above half full. So how to, to change that, you're gonna wanna push enter. So then you're in the menu. For this, we're gonna need to go to five. Oop, too far. So that would be use, user defined battery type. If I go to it real quick. AGM flooded user. I'm just gonna do user. I don't like the the value that they give you if you go to the default battery settings. So we're gonna make sure we're in user on number five. And 26 and 27 are gonna allow you to set the voltage that you want. So we're gonna go. So 26 is going to be the bulk charging value, depending on your battery. It could be different, but I'm charging mine at 58.4, which I think is as high as this will go, which is 14.6 volts per, ba per battery. So I think it, when you first do it, it only is at... 56 so and this made a big difference in how my batteries charged and that I waited too long so I'll go hit enter again click back down to 26 26 that's the bulk charging 27 is the float charging so after it has charged for a while at the bulk, it is not, I have that on automatic. So after it has charged the bulk charging value to where it thinks the battery is full, which is this 55, I had it a little bit lower before, 54 point, you know, something. I went to 55, that seems like it's working okay. So change the bulk charging and float charging to whatever is, whatever you need for your specific battery. So. Those two changes made a huge difference in how my battery performance was. There you go.